Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today we're going to be customizing the Shyster Deviant in Grand Theft Auto Online. It has been a very long time since I've customized this car. It's on sale for 50% off. And today, when this video is coming out, is the last day that you are able to purchase it. You can get it from Simeon's. So if you are interested, now is the last day you can get it because it is a removed vehicle and it is discounted by 50%. So if you want it, go get it for sure. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the armor upgrade. We're going to go all the way up on that. The brakes as well. Let's go all the way up on those. For the bumpers, we do have front and rear options. Now, removing the splitter on this thing is kind of crazy. Um, I honestly like it better with the splitter. Um, this is a really strange car because it's very old looking, but it's got a lot of really modern stuff you could do to it, which is quite strange. Um, not really 100% sure what I want to go for. Honestly, the stock front bumper might be what I end up keeping because I don't really think anything else looks that good. I feel like the stock bumper is like very interesting looking. So we're going to keep it for right now at least. Uh, now for the rear bumper, we do have a few different options here. Um, the only one that's really calling my name is the stepped bumper just because it adds a little more detail. So let's go ahead and throw that on. For the engine, we are going to go all the way up on that. For the exhaust, we have a rear exit exhaust that we can do. We also have dual rear exits or, or dual side exit exhausts. Um, we're going to go dual rear because it just looks way better. I don't really like side exits, so we're going to do that. Uh, now for the grill, we can do the single grill. We can do the dark chrome single, dark chrome slats for YSL. We also have the secondary slats, the kinked slats. Interesting, man. Holy free young thug for sure. Uh, plastic grill, we got the phantom grill, which takes away the lights, the plastic phantom, dark chrome phantom. Uh, classic grill and back to stock. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. If I'm going to do anything, I almost think that I want to go for the secondary slats. So I think that's the option I'm going to go for today. Either that or just the single grill. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like it almost looks better with the single grill. Maybe we'll go for that instead, honestly. Uh, now for the hood, we can go carbon, we can go vented, um, so we can have lots of vents, I guess. We got the secondary hood, the exposed charger, that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, we have the scoop hood, the carbon charger, and the carbon scoop. I wish we could get rid of this vent on the front, that really annoys me. Uh, we're going to go for the vented hood today, just to add something. Uh, for the lights, we are going to go xenon, and for the sake of handling and lowering the center of gravity, I am going to go ahead and throw the neon kit on, but we're going to keep it in white because I don't really want to change that. Uh, now, for the livery option on the vehicle, we have quite a few different ones that we can go for here. Um, none of them, none of them, like particularly like strike me as like awesome, you know. Uh, the yellow pinstripe is interesting. I kind of don't mind that. Uh, we also have the gray stripes, the classic white. We have the negative stripes as well. Uh, the two-tone. The two-tone's kind of interesting. I actually almost like the two-tone. The RJ Farthings, it's not that interesting. The Aero Gasoline's not that interesting. I think if I'm going to go for one, it's either going to be the yellow pinstripe or the gray stripes. Um, I think it's going to have to be one of those. Or the negative stripes, maybe. But they're only on the front of the car, which is kind of odd. And they just randomly stop right there, which I don't really like. So I'm going to go gray stripes. Um, I feel like that's going to be the best looking option for us. Yellow and black for the plate. Um, now for the primary color of the vehicle. I feel like the gray would look really nice with a blue of some sort. Um, or some sort of bright color, but I feel like a blue in particular would look quite nice with this. Um, I'm tempted to go for just like almost a regular blue or something like that, uh, but at the same time, could go for something a little brighter, like a racing blue maybe. Maybe a racing blue for the primary, and then for the secondary color, we're going to do this in black actually, because I think black is going to look really, really nice. So let's do that. Now for the primary, the pearlescent. I want to change it up a little bit because I don't want it to be quite so shiny. I also don't want it to be gone. Let's go for maybe a black steel just so we have a little bit of pearl, but it's not too like invasive, I guess. For the trim color, what does this do? Oh, it changes the seat color. Um, we won't go for anything too crazy. I think honestly a black steel for the interior, I think is pretty good. 
so maybe we'll just keep that uh, we can go for the livery roof or a carbon roof i'm gonna go livery because the carbon looks weird and the sock one looks weird as well uh, now we can also go for a smooth ducktail for the spoiler a carbon ducktail a notch ducktail roof lip uh, boot lip plastic boot lip low level spoiler low secondary drag wing carbon drag wing and back to none um so i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do here maybe the notch ducktail i feel like it's the best looking option honestly so we'll go for that uh, for the suspension i am going to lower it i don't know if i'm going to go all the way down though i feel like a sport suspension looks pretty good it's already you know it's low enough uh we'll throw the super transmission on that's interesting i didn't know this thing had that uh, turbo tuning as well we'll go for now we do have the custom or sorry the stock wheels uh, painted in black right now which is a pretty good look if i do say so myself i feel like they do fit the car really nicely and they are going to stay like that because i bought it from simians like that so i'm almost tempted to just leave them alone honestly um, we will go bulletproof on the tires though and for the windows i am going to tint them with light smoke but i think I think I kind of want to keep the stock tires. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's take this thing outside. Of course, we have to do a sound test and a review on the vehicle. I also want to see it in the sunlight. I feel like it does look really nice um, in all honesty. So that's good. Uh, let's take a listen to how the Shyster Deviant sounds. It's definitely not a bad sounding muscle car it's not that unique or interesting really either but uh it's it's not bad it definitely could be way worse that's for sure um and immediately we've crashed uh that's my fault completely i will claim responsibility for that um the deviant is an interesting car it uh it really is it's 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 one of those cars that i've always kind of had like a love-hate relationship with in gta that it's like it's it's so cool but at the same time, there's something that's like wrong with it and I can't quite pinpoint exactly what that is. I think a lot of my problem with the Deviant is, the f my God, just do drive. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> that's what I was saying. A lot of my problem with the Deviant is the fact that some of the car's customization seems like really, really modern and then other parts of its customization seem like it's an old muscle car. And I'm not really sure how the Deviant works because it's kind of modern, but it's kind of old at the same time. Like the, the interior is like relatively modern, I would say. Um, but the car looks like an old muscle car. It's just, it's just one of those cars that I can't quite wrap my head around. And there's not many of them in the game, but uh, this one is, is definitely one of the ones that there are. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a fun car. It's an interesting car. Hang on. We got some business to attend to. Everybody knows what I'm doing. Uh, but it's decently fast. Um, it's got okay handling. I, I would say that the handling is definitely not like very good. Um, it, it like if you're doing a, a very small turn, like if you're, if you're turning like I am right now, like very, very lightly, um, it's okay. But the second that you throw it at like a, a, you know another turn even if you break uh, no matter what you do that rear end is going to come out on you and it is going to drift and it's not going to stop um, until you're facing the wrong direction unless you're going really really fast like i just was there on that corner so it's really strange because at mid speed it's like actually not a very fun car to drive but at like other times it's like okay like right now it's it's like okay but i can feel that back end is like trying to just like slip out on me and it's it's just annoying to drive it's it's like one of those cars that you feel like you're like you're getting taxed at every opportunity like every time that you go around a corner you have to like oh, oh oversteer oversteer and like deal with it you know um in order to you know stay on the road but it's kind of frustrating because to me the car doesn't warrant the like struggle that you get for for driving it like you'll have cars like the original dominator in gta and it handles terribly don't get me wrong at all but it's fast and it's got some nice customization it's a good looking vehicle 
um, and it, it, its performance backs it up so you can kind of deal with the fact that it has relatively horrible handling but with the deviant it's like it's got the super transmission but like it's not that fast regardless of that and beyond that it can't really turn without drifting and albeit the drift is semi-controllable but it's just frustrating to have to deal with it every single time you want to go around a corner at the speed that you're going to be traveling at most of the time which is medium speed like you're not going to be going top speed all the time you're not going to be at low speed all the time you're going to be at medium speed and that is the exact speed that the Shyster Deviant uh, really, really struggles with, or seems to at least, at least for me. I, I could be totally wrong. Maybe this is like the best handling car ever on Xbox. I'm really not sure, but um, I, I do, I do overall like the car. I just don't know if I would recommend really picking it up. I mean, it is 50% off right now and it is a removed car. So for those two things, I'd say, yeah, duh, pick it up. Of course, it's, you know, 50% off and it's a removed vehicle. But the like car guy in me is saying like, it's not really that good of a vehicle. And you can probably avoid having one. Like you, you really you're not missing much with the Shyster Deviant as much as that is annoying to say about a removed car this is a car that I feel like can be removed you know what I mean like I, I don't want them to remove any cars but I'm happy that they removed this over something else let's just say that so anyway guys that's pretty much all I have to say about the Shyster Deviant I wouldn't necessarily really recommend picking it up unless you buy it right now while it's 50% off um, and even then it's still not like a huge like yes you must own this car it's it's like, yeah, you could pick it up if you want to, you know what I mean? So anyway, if you guys found this video helpful or useful, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Let me know what you thought of my customization in the comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.